everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I figured we'd do a vlog. Actually, not just today, but I'm going to be showing you guys a trip to Antigua. So we are getting ready to leave out of the door. And so I figured I would first start off by showing you guys my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. This hat is from Brixton. I've had it for a couple of years now. This is just a tank top from Amazon biker shorts from Amazon. My shoes are Nike and my shirt. If you saw my Aritzia Abercrombie haul, you would have seen this. This is the Aritzia shirt. So if you want to go check it out, I went and reviewed it and gave you a little bit of science facts behind it. But anyway, we are getting ready to head out the door. So let's go because our flight is at 10, but it's now 6.30 and we still need to drive about an hour and a half to go to the airport. So I'll take you guys along the way. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are too to watch this video and experience this with me. So let's go. Bye house. We will see you in one week. got out of the flagship lounge. It was pretty fun. They had some good food and we had some good laughs where it's time to go. Overall, it's been pretty good. Look at that line. Yep, no oh, thank you. This is so nice. Yeah. 
Do you like it so far? Yeah, yeah, it's great. You just throw paper airplanes off. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, please don't do that. Is that an actual pool? Was that a pool? Nobody in there, so I don't know. Hello. Hey. How are you? <laughs> That's so cute. Can you say Apple? Samsung. Samsung is better than Apple. Good morning, everyone. Today is our first full official day here at the resort and I thought I would show you our room really quickly. Mind you, we already slept in it last night, so if it's looking a little rough, don't judge. But I wanted to give you a quick little room tour. We're actually about to go and work out first and try to make the most out of our day today. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna work out, go eat breakfast, and then maybe hit the beach. It's sprinkling a little bit right now. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad, but we'll make the most of it. Let me start with the entrance. This is our entrance. We have some cabinetry here. Cute. This is the closet. Mirror, of course. Bed, chairs, mini bar, don't mind the mess. Those are all the maps, but a fully stocked bar. And all of this is included. We are staying at the Sandals Resort, so it is all inclusive. We are at the Antigua and Barbuda Resort. So we got another little seating area over there. His and her vanities. This is my side. There's a walk in shower with the rainfall shower head tub another that's his don't mind the mess and a bathroom but my favorite part of the room i'll show you is the outside balcony we are on the highest level we're on the seventh level and if i can get out look at this view a little cloudy today but we're still gonna make the most of the day right Wake up. Yep. I think he's awake. Also, very, very far off in the corner over there is a volcano. Just saying. All right, so we're gonna go work out and then get breakfast. So I will take you off. Let's go. Sorry guys, I had to take a break, but how can you not be inspired to work out with the view like that? Or like that? It's just so nice. It makes working out that much better. Anyway, back to the workout. Oh, all done. Now we need to go get some breakfast. See you in a bit. We will do that one of these days. Okay, so we just finished up our breakfast. Now I can see you. <laughs> we finished our breakfast, now we're heading back up to the hotel room and we're going to end up getting changed for the pool. There is Pool Olympics, so maybe this one can do it. I'll see if I can do it, but mostly him, not me. <laughs> so we're gonna get changed and head in there before the rain comes. So yeah, you're mine. Bye. Wow, okay. Awesome against tits. So awesome tits. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so listen. We got a few games for you guys, all right? 
and we're gonna start something like this. I want you to pick a captain in your team. Pick a captain, and I want the captain to come forward. Only the captain. All right, so you're captain, and you are a captain. Okay. Now, captains, I'm gonna say this off the mic. <laughs> All right, so Captain, what I want you to do is to find the best blower in your team. <laughs> wow, the best blower, and bring them forward. You know, charity says, huh? But you're not a part of the game. The one behind of you, your team members, is going to follow you. This is a relay race. I need you to swim as fast as you can, straight over. Yes, one at a time. Straight over to the steps by the dolphin and swim right back. And team members, you cannot move until they touch you. All right? When they touch you... Right. <laughs> he took off like a bullet. Hey. Tits is ahead, Tits is ahead. Let's go, let's go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Uh oh. Sorry, Tits is ahead. <laughs> come on, come on, you're right here, you're right here. Fix. Only way you're gonna get the best pool Olympics in the world is at Sandals, Dren, and Tiga. Oh, Hi guys, it's me from the future. I didn't get a chance to talk about it while we were actually in Antigua, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit more background to the situation. So as you guys saw, we ended up doing Pool Olympics. And while it was fun to start out with, well, you guys saw that I'm a really slow swimmer, especially against the guy that I was competing against. So yeah, I was really slow at swimming. And so my now fiance uh, by the way this is like many months later i'm just now getting to editing this video so please excuse me but anyway he had to basically try to make up lost time for me being slow he had previously already had two shoulder dislocations because he also plays competitive paintball and so at this point you know like his shoulder is prone to dislocating we didn't think that it would happen again while we were on vacation so yeah when it was his turn he was obviously trying to swim very fast to make up for that lost time and <laughs> he ended up obviously dislocating his shoulder while we were at the resort so everybody in the pool like freaked out because when he got out his shoulder was basically towards his like or his shoulder blade was basically towards his lower back and so everybody like gasped when they saw it because it was all like crooked and lopsided and everybody was like in, kind of panicking like oh my god are you okay it seemed like he tried to play cool i was trying to get him to get on this video to give his point of view but he's being a little shy anyway yeah he was trying to play it cool as best as he could but i mean he's already white right and it was just like he was going pale and gray in the face normally there's no doctors there at the resort so they had to call like the nurse's station i believe her name was destiny um, that you guys first saw in the first clip with the other announcer guy. She ended up helping us to like guiding us to the nurse's station once we tried to figure out everything. First he was trying to lie down to pop it back in himself. There was other people at the resort that were trying to help him but then were also like very cautious, right? Some random stranger, bless their heart, they were like, oh our friends are doctors. Maybe we can try to call him to see if he can come over but then like his wife was like, he doesn't want to be helping anybody, he's on vacation, yada yada yada, which is completely understandable, plus we didn't want to risk anything being outside of the country. So he finally had like enough strength to try to make it to the nurse's station by like walking, uh, but it was obviously very painful for him. So I was trying to stay as calm as I could. I was also with his mom and we were trying to keep her calm too, but you know, it is like a scary situation being in an unknown country and like we couldn't get it back in. So we were just trying to follow the protocols of like what the nurse was telling us and my fiance's mother is also, uh, she's a retired nurse now, but she was trying to help at the same time. It was funny because that nurse was like, it's okay, like let me just help. I know you were a nurse before, but let me just try to help. So by some type of miracle, she ended up calling a doctor, I guess somebody else had like an ankle injury. They had slipped somewhere and an orthopedic doctor ended up coming to the resort to help him out. Igor was lucky enough that that doctor was there so he can put his shoulder back in. So yeah, that clip that you saw him in the sling, 
is the aftermath after the doctor had got his shoulder back into the right place. Because it was the third time, that doctor ended up recommending for him to get um, surgery, which now, thankfully, he has gotten the surgery, so now he's recuperating and going through physical therapy. But yeah, at, at the time, he was known as, oh, you're the shoulder guy who popped his shoulder out at the pool. He didn't like to be known because of that, but I was like, hey, you're making all these new friends. This is kind of actually a, a good thing in retrospect, but he's like, no, I don't want to have a shoulder dislocation. I don't want to be known for those things. But I think it was kind of nice that everybody was approaching him and just like giving him their perspective because some of the guests did end up having a similar type of injury. And so I think it was good for him to get that perspective and kind of eventually lead him into getting the surgery eventually. So yeah, so because he got a shoulder dislocation, we couldn't really do much at the end, but it was kind of nice though to just like relax and take it easy. But towards the end, you'll see more clips. I just wanted to give a background as to what was going on, but we couldn't do very many excursions. Actually, we didn't really do any excursions um, just because we wanted to play it safe while he was in the sling and not further injure it because we didn't want to end up in an ER type of situation in a, another country. So, oh, also one thing that I forgot to mention, he was super bummed because he is a type of person that he loves snorkeling and stuff like that. So that's why we choose these types of places to go on vacation because the waters are so clear and you can see more fish and the water is it's just nicer, nicer beaches. So he was really, really bummed. I'm not a strong swimmer, clearly, like you guys saw, but I do try to take risks for me. Swimming in the water, like the ocean, is a risk for me. And I like to do that type of stuff with him and also push myself out of my comfort zone. So I felt really bad because he couldn't end up snorkeling and that was like his main thing. But yeah, we were just glad actually that we hadn't gone on a snorkel excursion because I can't imagine if that would have happened while he was in the middle of the ocean doing that, what else would have happened? So we were kind of glad that it happened at the resort in a pool that wasn't like so deep, at least for him, luckily, cause he's like six feet tall. So it limited our excursions, but it was also nice to just sit back, chill, relax, and have a, like a true vacation where you don't really do anything. We did do a little bit, like I said, towards the end, but yeah, that was another background mess too. Why he was also bummed, so I'm sorry, but hopefully our next adventure, he's able to finally swim and do all the things that he likes. So we'll make up for it in the future, but yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the video now, for real. Well, it's starting to rain. from Lily Fama, just a different color, different style, like I showed in my packing video. And then this cover-up is from Diane's Beachwear. We are going to end up taking it slow and easy since Igor got hurt yesterday in the pool. So yeah, we're gonna try to figure out something that we can do together that doesn't hurt him. First, we need breakfast, so we're gonna go get breakfast. So. It's dinner time now, so I thought I would do another quick outfit check. So here's my Aritzia top that I was wearing with my Abercrombie & Fitch jeans. Um, these are number one staples in my closet now. And my Steve Madden shoes. So yeah, and my hair is just in a bun. 
We got my earrings from Misoma and my necklace is also from Misoma. We're gonna go eat. Good morning everyone. Quick swimsuit check. Today I'm wearing marble swimwear. This is the Nadia Anya collection. The swimsuit is from there and so is this beach cover-up. Um, it's nice and it's long in the back, shorter in the front, and then I'm wearing my Ralph Lauren sandals, my Ray-Bans, and uh, my Ray-Bans. You're gonna have to excuse my crazy hair right now, but I just wanted to show you guys Hurricane Earl is happening at this moment, and the weather is like extremely crazy outside right now, so let me see if I can capture it, but it is thundering and looking a little scary in some areas. It was just bright and sunny, and now it is not, so let's look. Look at this weather. You can see the rain I don't know, but it was just nice and sunny over here right <laughs> now. It's very dark. You can see the clouds coming in. Well guys, it is currently raining. Maybe you can see in the background. Oh, I just stepped in a puddle. But we're off to dinner. We might be getting sushi for the third time. We will be getting sushi. <laughs> we are getting sushi for the third time in a row because honestly, it's the best restaurant on this resort, and we're gonna get our money's worth for sushi. This time you're paying. So. Wait, I paid yesterday. <laughs> just kidding. We got all inclusive, so. It's all in his budget. <laughs> Just kidding. Whoa! <laughs> slipped. Okay, I take it back. It's both of ours. Anyway, we're off to dinner in the rain. Wish us luck. Goodbye. Okay, you guys, this was such a core memory for us. We started jamming out with the couple next to us, and then that led into the servers and the waiter and hostess and chefs. We all had a freaking dance party inside of the restaurant. It's called Soy. We ended up changing the name to Club Soy because that's what it was in this moment. You guys, I was dying of laughter. I could not. My belly was just hurting and I just had so much fun in this. As you can tell, I can't stop laughing. This was the best time. So honestly, this was the reason also why we kept going back to Club Soy. <laughs> See what I mean? Calling it Club Soy. This is why we kept going to the soy restaurant. It was just so fun. We got to know everybody so well, obviously, because we kept going there. But yeah, this normally doesn't happen, and I'm so glad that it did. It was the best time, you guys. This was so fun. I will never, ever forget this, and I honestly, I would go back just because of this moment. anymore i think it's day four i just wanted to show you my outfit before we go out sorry i haven't really like vlogged outside all we do is just like go to the pool or go to the beach and eat you know living our best life i thought i would show you quickly my swimsuit this is another swimsuit from Luli fama and then these are my abercrombie and fitch beach cover-up swim pants and my steve madden gladiator shoes which are great dupes for the valentino sandals so we're gonna go out, get some breakfast as usual, and probably go to the beach this time. Yesterday we did the pool, so today we'll probably do the beach, or we'll do both. Probably both. Probably the beach? Beach with <laughs> Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you guys my Abercrombie and Fitch bag. Um, I've actually been using this with every single outfit. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that really quickly. It's cute, but side note, we did realize it's not that sturdy. It is kind of ripping, so I'm gonna need to fix that. I don't know if I'd recommend it for that reason now, especially at the time. I think it was 80 bucks that I spent, so save your coin. Okay. So we 
just got back from a dinner that they did for us for being um, members, club members of the resort. So they gave us a free bottle of rum. Um, and if you don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me because I post more there and I have been posting more about my trips there. I'm sorry, my lovey's making fun of me <laughs> vlogging. How about I vlog you? How about that? Tell me how you feel. Microphone. Sure. Anyway, so <laughs> we're gonna go and watch a magic show that they have down at the resorts. So they always do something every single night and in this one little area and one side of the resort, I should say. We're gonna go watch a magic show and probably get a cappuccino. We get a cappuccino like every single night, probably three times a day, sometimes more, but it's been our little ritual. Anyway, so we need to go get some good seats and my love of is taking forever, but I don't know if I already vlogged this, but this top is from Zara last year and so is this skirt. It's also from Zara and my shoes are Steve Madden. I brought heels, but because it keeps raining, I don't wanna twist my ankle or anything and end up like someone who hurt themselves at the resort. I'm not gonna name any names, okay? But anyway, I'm wearing sandals. We're gonna go and watch this magic show and yeah. <laughs> Have to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this bathing suit from Frankie's, and then I'm wearing my Abercrombie and Fitch beach cover-up pants and my Steve Madden sandals. Today's Thursday, so it's our last full day here. So we're gonna try to make the most out of it. I think we might end up going sailing, but we're gonna attempt to do it because it's included, and we need to do something. Anyway, <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> for dinner. I'm wearing my Steve Madden heels and my Soma anklet, if you could see that. This dress is from Princess Polly. This is what it looks like in the back. We're gonna go have sushi. It's our last night and I'm sad to be going back to reality. We're gonna go because around this time is when it starts to be a party with the chefs and the workers and us. <laughs> Bye. Well guys, today is our last day. Very sad. Look at this video. Well, did you have a good time? Bless you, Andrew. <laughs> what are we doing? He's just gonna keep shaking his head, so. It was really fun. The people here were fun. It was lively. And we definitely liked it a lot better in St. Lucia. I think we could have stayed for an extra day or two. That's what you think. To actually explore. Instead, instead of staying. 
at the resort. But since he had an injury, we couldn't risk it. That's right. That is right. So he's in mine now. <laughs> <laughs> so, our shuttle should be here at 10.30. I think they might be calling people. Oh yes, they're all back there. So we should probably go. Let's go. Bye, honey. Well, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry it took so long, but nevertheless, it's up and out. I hope this inspires your new summer trip. The island itself is very beautiful. We just wish we could have done more and explored more. But as you can see, the people are so friendly and definitely worth going just for that. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let's see this channel grow. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.